It was just like a bomb just, just came out of nowhere. I really didn't know what to think. I was very emotional about it. Parents at, of students at Gateway Education Center are likely wondering what they'll do if the Greensboro Special Needs School closes. All the parents we talked to say they got a call from the school on Friday about it closing, but the district won't confirm or deny anything at this point. WFM One News News' Erica Stapleton is looking into what it takes to legally close a school. You're taking your afternoon nap. 11-year-old Noah Koble has been at the Gateway Education Center for the past nine years, giving him and his family some stability in what's usually an unpredictable day. It's a severe developmental delays, uncontrollable seizures. He's got two scoliosis rods in his back. He's too fed. And to hear from staff that his school won't be open next year. Very tearful. Tears rolled up in my eyes. An unpredictable life met with an uncertain future. And the Kobols aren't alone. Dozens of families have spoken out, even if the district hasn't. I just think Guilford County Schools needs to be a little bit more transparent. By state law, in order to close a school, a district first has to do a study. In this case, it's possible GCS could use the facility study released in January. It listed the Gateway School in poor condition, but it wasn't the worst in the bunch. After that, there has to be a public hearing about it. And only after that does the school board have the power to close a school. Fist bump. But parents like Lakeisha Williams are getting a different message. Her two-year-old son Isaiah has cerebral palsy and is in Gateway's infant toddler program. Because of his age, she doesn't think there's even another program for him if the school closes. He's came such a long way and I just don't want to see him go backwards. Superintendent Dr. Sharon Contreras will be making recommendations to the school board tomorrow. One of the parents told us she heard the school was closing due to a facilities issue, but again, the district could not confirm that to us today. The bottom line here, though, is that a decision to close is not set in stone, or at least by law, it shouldn't be. Erica, thank you. And Erica also says that every parent she's talked with only says good things about about Gateway Education Center. So here's how tomorrow will play out. The school board meets at 1130 in the morning to talk about budget recommendations. And before that, parents are planning to meet to show unity and support for keeping Gateway open. We will be on top of it and press the school district for answers.